Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have a big, big mess to clean up. That's all my tools from the Chevrolet Venture. Uh, heads coming off, which are right there. I haven't even done anything with them yet. And then, of course, to the um, the uh, trans axle coming apart. I got all the parts I need with that, except for one seal and uh, um, that's basically it. Oh, and a bolt. That one bolt that broke. Oh, I didn't. I didn't record it. This bolt that was stuck last episode or the last time we worked on this, that spun out by hand. So the face of that bolt literally had melded itself to the cover, the case cover. Um, let's see here, it's right. It's right here. So this is my pattern of the case cover bolts. This is the one that was, uh, that was stuck. So I need to get one of these bolts, and as you can see, the threads are really nice. Let me wipe it off a little. And um, I literally went to get it, and it just unscrewed perfectly. So I'm really happy about that. I was not looking forward to repairing those threads, which are just totally golden. Anyway, so I need to get the proper length bolt, proper. Uh, which one called it? Let me see how this one is. All right, this one's way, way longer. So I think it's going to be the the length of this bolt, the length of this bolt. Um. Well, I suppose it's the exact same one. Cool. All right. That's great. I haven't really even looked at it yet. This was last week when I took this apart, so I had to switch gears work on some other stuff. I'm gonna do a time-lapse video of me. Uh, this is for the pump. Same thing, I just kind of drew the design of the pump itself. Anyway, you can see that. And of course, here are old clutches, fourth gear. The, the chain is actually worn out, but it wasn't re readily available. And I said, not worry about it, really. I gotta get this seal. I probably could just go with it. I'm really at that point. This project is just nickel and dime us here. Here's the pump, and of course the case cover sitting here. So what I'm gonna do is I need to clean up big time. Um, let me show you the, the whole unit here. Man, this thing is torn apart. <coughs> Excuse me. After I took the heads off, of course, that was the best time to do that side cover so you can see how much room I've got to work but it'll just be one thing at a time I'm gonna get all the coolants out of this block um, I gotta get the oil changed out of this thing the very next step to work on this is gonna be to kind of level it back up and drop the trans pan because I, I actually hadn't done that yet do that make sure this side is, is all good to go make sure it's clean and then get all my parts and then go back together. So, anyways, as you can see, this thing is just ready. Gentlemen, all cleaned up here. I'm going to show you the parts that are going into this uh, Chevy Venture. Uh, I'm working on a 2001. Um, it's a 3.4 liter. Excuse me. And the <coughs> transmission is a 4T65E. So let's look at some of the old parts real quick here. Um, this is the plate that you'll you'll see you'll, you'll be familiar with that here so to start things off of course we remove this channel plate to access this shaft which obviously was mowed down at some point by that sun gear and here we have our replacement 
you can see it's heat treated. Um, sorry, if the there you go. Sometimes this autofocus works, I guess. So that thing is ready to rock and roll. We've done some pre fitment and it all works great. Um, inside there is this um, this fourth gear clutch situation, where when everything gets pressed against here through um, the opposite side of this, these clutches engage, and that's what actually ends up spinning this fourth gear shaft, and then in turn spinning that sun gear, and then the uh, the ratio becomes uh, overdrive. So this is the old uh, steels and frictions. They don't look so bad, but we did get a uh, we did get a set of them from our supplier. Shout out Hanson Transmission. Um, it wasn't a huge deal. They also recommended this EPM or EPC, the electronic pressure control or what have you. I'll show you what, you know, installing it. That is also a common cause of failure in this transmission. So I want to do that. And then also in my particular one, this bushing, where this, this how the, the nose of the, uh, the gear that gets driven from the torque converter rides in this. There's actually some ceiling rings in here on the nose of it and there's so on the old one there was a lot of pitting here he replaced it the nose of the other of, the nose of the original looked good so we're gonna go with it um this actually co goes in on into the transmission so uh on i guess on to the next here um backtracking real quick hansen put press that in in for me and then what they had to do they actually had to remove the valve body which i didn't and in doing so he found a check ball stuck i believe in this passage so it wasn't allowing it something to bleed down he couldn't pinpoint it but it obviously this that wasn't helping our situation so that's the old old one there old part there chain was pretty had a lot of slack but they said they rarely replace them and honestly I think it's gonna just gonna be good to go for our situation. Our little thrust washers are looking good. We're in Chris down there. You see the lower part is the rougher looking metal and the top part is kind of a brass-ish looking thing. So I probably would have wanted to replace that, but you can see it's just starting to wear, I think, right here. But once these this brass wears down, I think, or whatever it is, to that level, I think that's when you start getting in trouble here. Anyways, I can't film it. You, you get the picture. It's just a thrust washer. It's just accepting the force, but it's not like the total force. Most of the force is twisting. That's just kind of a bumping up. So anyway, our pump that bolts to the face of the valve body looks good. We're going to clean that up, make sure we're all good to go. And then to the normal everyday stuff. Oh, by the way, this thing looked good too. You want to check your, your Teflon seal. This is the uh, coming from the uh, torque converter driving the uh, pump. So you want to make sure that this is good to go. Um, trans uh, filter kit, side cover gasket, and then according to my builder, these are actually the paper gaskets. He recommends the metal version of these, so I um, highly recommend the metal. I'm going to try and find them locally tomorrow. If they're not here, I'm just going to go with these and seal up the area he pointed out where reverse can blow out. I don't know. We're just going to go with it. We don't have a lot of time. So, but there's our, our gaskets. So anyways, guys and gals, there is our breakdown. We're going to do another video, obviously, as we begin to uh, work further on it. But if you're going to do this job and you're going to just going to go in there and try to replace this, there's a few things you need to check, you know, besides just that. I looked in on the sun gear inside the transmission. You have to make sure that these spoons will fit in cleanly. 
recommend doing your clutches, recommend doing this EPC solenoid, which goes, uh, I think on this side of the case, we'll show you that later. Inspect your bushing here, inspect the nose on the trans side. These guys were surprised that I didn't have the transmission out of it, if that tells you anything. So be careful working on these things. Um, a lot of these transmissions are worth more than the vehicle they're in, so. Over and out, 1465E Series, Chevy Venture, Last Frontier Garage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now at the next phase of our uh, 4T65E um, fourth gear repair. Fourth gear repair and maintenance. I've got the engine jacked up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna loosen all these bolts all the way Basically, so we can get it to drain right here. We're gonna undo this part basically last. So let's go ahead and work our way around here. Trying to keep my arms out of the way of the, the video here and there. Loving this quarter inch ratchet. I've had this for uh, for years. It's a Matco. Let me see if I can try to tell you when I got this. Um, basically 2012. Huh? I guess it was that. Yeah. Anyways, I've had a lot, obviously, stuff longer than this, but. This is a great tool that I've been wanting for a while. So we're gonna inspect. We're obviously gonna get the rest of the old fluid out, clean the magnet, inspect our fluid, inspect the pan. Uh, make sure that you know, there's no like crazy signs of failure and uh, Alright, if it's going to be loose at all, we should start to see some fluid here. Uh, I think there's just a lot, there's just not a lot of fluid. Let me make sure here. This one I left on there just for the, um, you know, just in case I'll, I forget one of the bolts drops out. There is our drip, drip, drip. We're getting a little bit here. This thing has been dripping for about a week now, so. To get a lot more here. Just gonna make sure it kind of collects. All right, there we go. Whoa. Ooh. I kind of figured that would happen. There's a lot of fluid left. Let me just do this here. Um, a lot of it is coming down this way, so let's go wide. Let's get this bolt out of here. All right, let's go ahead and...
Alright, that's what you want, ladies and gentlemen. A little Niagara situation. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, uh, I'm gonna let this slowly drip because my pan, my pan isn't wide enough to really just let it go. Um, let's go a little bit further down. Let's let's cinch up our. So this is the main one here. Alright, this is where you gotta be careful. So I'm gonna let this... Alright, I'm gonna see it. Uh, <laughs> last time standing. Um, boy, that. Sorry about that light right there. Um, okay, this is just about ready to just come all the way down here. Once you can hold the whole pan up on yourself by yourself, then and only then take that bolt out. I'm only doing it by hand just because it's easier to kind of. So, I'm going to keep angling it this way. Okay. Okay, let's do this. I'm just going to kind of duplicate the pan. Everything looks pretty decent in there. Just a quick look, it looks old. Obviously, it looks like it's it could be, you know, it could be changed. Let's get this filter down here. I'm trying to slowly pull it out. I'm, just, I'm assuming, obviously, it's just a seal up there. So, oh, there it goes. Okay, let's take a look here. How's everything looking, guys? Can you see it? Um, obviously, there's a lot of metallic. There's a lot of friction material, as expected for being so old. Um, in here... The pan itself looks to be normal. There's no big chunks. There's no shavings. I'm sure there's some particles, particulates, but nothing, nothing big. So we're gonna get this off. We're gonna clean this up. Uh, I'm gonna get a different drip situation for this, um, this setup here. I'm gonna make sure these hoses are tight. These are vital feed feed lines for your situation so let me uh, I'm probably gonna crank down the um, let me just put this down in here and uh, let me just lower the trans a little bit to kind of help help things Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm probably gonna leave it just like this um, for the night. Um, probably not gonna leave this. Let's see here. If I literally duplicate this this thing here, I think that'll work. 
I'm just gonna really set up the pan underneath. Put some rags around it. It's all good. If it drips a little bit, I'm gonna pull this thing back. All right, there we go. Everything looks good. Um, I may not clean it up tonight. I think I might let it just drip. I think I'm gonna have to revamp and regroup um, for tomorrow um, to get uh, to the next phase of this. So over and out <laughs> for D65E. Let's turn to your garage.